Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. Wow, that was quick. Is that normally how you play games, or are you just extremely eager to get this one over with? Anyway, you made it to the end of the first level. Congrats, I guess. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a tad underwhelmed, though. Not by any fault of your own, of course, but, uh... Look, I'll just be straight with you. You're the only person who signed up to playtest, so... Thanks for playing, I guess. Alright, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Uh, that's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can... Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been... ...working... Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Anyway, let's get started. This hallway used to be much longer than it is now, but we shortened it because long hallways are boring. Okay, I'm just going to go completely against what I'm supposed to do here, but you are not going the right way. At all. I didn't even know there was an elevator in the level, so the fact that you're going up it probably means it isn't supposed to happen. So, go back down when it gets to the top, please? Y yeah, that's probably bad news. I'd go back down. Alright, I've now resigned to the fact that you're probably not going to stop going this way. So fine. It's your job as a playtester to find stuff we didn't- Well, this looks ominous. Wait, the end? This isn't the end, though. There's still two more levels you're supposed to complete. I mean, unless the other developers change something without telling me. Which, to be completely honest, wouldn't surprise me at this point. You, you should be on the most recent version of the game, and none of this was here before. The game files came straight off of my computer earlier this morning, and I can personally assure you that this is not the end. Why would it just end here? <sighs> you know what? There's not really much that left in this level anyway, and it's not super important, so we can just skip to level 2. Okay, level 2 isn't opening. Great. As if nothing else could go bad during this. Let me try this. Can't use cheat commands unless the server has SV cheat set to 1. What is that even supposed to mean? We don't even have servers. <sighs> okay, let me just get this straight. You turned on power to an elevator that I was not aware of, then took said elevator to an area I was not aware of, then went into a room that I was not aware of, where there was a message that is not only verifiably not true, but that I was also not aware of. Wow. The end. Hmm. How could all of this have been created without me knowing? Like, like I said before, all of the game files came off of my computer this morning, right before you got here. And all of this wasn't in the level when it was. Was this added before? No, no. It couldn't have been. I would have noticed it. So all of this had to have been added this morning. I'm baffled, honestly. They'd have to have a time machine to be able to add all of this, or be faster than light, 
or we'd have to be inside the game, but that's probably the stupidest. Okay, that definitely just broke something, so I'll assume I was on the right track with that line of thought. I guess the game doesn't like self-awareness. So we are, we are in the game. Hmm. Either that or it's just a very conveniently timed glitch, but I doubt it. How does being inside of a game work? I mean, I guess I, I should know since I'm in one apparently, but it seems normal so far. Well, as normal as this is, I mean. I'd ask you what you think, but you're not exactly the most talkative, so I doubt I'd get an answer. Why are we even in the game to begin with? And better yet, where do you come in all this? You're supposed to be playtesting a game that I made! But if I'm inside of it, then how could I, one, create the game that you're playing, and two, contact you to even play it? It just doesn't make any sense. Did someone else at JNC contact you? Are you playtesting a game where you play as a playtester, or are you just play- Hi, my ne- Did something just happen? I, f I thought we were- Well, 
that was weird. Sorry, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the uh, lead developer. Let's get started. Did something just happen? Wait, level two? Since when is there Or just don't listen to me, that's cool. Oh, wait, I recognize this. This was the original way that level two was supposed to start. Yeah, you'd go through that elevator and then- Hey, I guess that did lead to level two. Well, actual level. Here we go, the first puzzle. This may take a little while for you to complete. We've designed hundreds of concepts for it and it's been carefully crafted to be one of the most challenging puzzles in video game history. I don't mean to hype myself up or anything, but I think I did a pretty good job. Best of luck. Congratulations. You are now in the 0.00001% of gamers who were capable of completing that puzzle. Or probably capable. After all, you're the only person who's played it. Wait, did I tell you that already? Optimization is for losers, 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 losers. Oh, there you are. I, uh, lost you for a second. Alright, you made it to the van. This next part is going to be a driving section. To steer, it's the same controls as walking, and to shoot, it's the left mouse button. You'll need to shoot at the guys with toilets in their back seats and... Oh my god. Oh, did they forget to put gas in the van again? <sighs> okay, we're just going to have to skip that for now. Sorry. Let me open level three. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, alright, we should be loaded. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I feel like you're getting sick of me talking, so I'm just going to be quiet for a bit. Wait, how do I know that? No, 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 get out of there. That's for developers only. This is confidential James the Enterprise's material. Nice going. Since you couldn't be bothered to just listen to me, now we've skipped an entire level of the game. You know, the whole reason you're here, to test a game, you just skipped a third of it. There's going to be a driving minigame, and you'll never get to see it now. How does that make you feel? <sighs> Whatever. Let's get back on track and play through this level. Since you missed level two, you'll need some context for this next bit. <clears throat> After escaping the apartment and fleeing the city in a van, you've reached an impasse. A huge concrete wall blocks your path, and the only way around it is through the dangerous sewer system below. Will you venture into that... Whoa. 
words cannot describe. By the way, the room coming up here was supposed to be a celebration of you completing the game, but since you skipped a good 75% of it, I don't think you've really earned it. So, when you go in there, just... Wait, wait. Matthew, you're in a, a time loop? What is all I've this? I've never seen it being deleted, so that's why there was a lot of ways to remember this. What's a TV? Am I even... Hi, my, um, I thought we played this already. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm, I'm, I'm... Hey, I'm Matthew Stanton, and... Oh, wow! This frame rate sure is bad, her playtester. Uh, we, we better go check in the game engine and make sure everything is working. Sound good? Let's go! Ah, much better. Low frame rates make me queasy. So, you know what a game engine is, right? It's what games run on, the, the framework for how they work. The, w whatever, you get it. Anyway, I'm gonna check on ours real quick, just to make sure everything is all hunky-dory. Uh, which, judging by the frame rate earlier, it isn't. Uh, by the way, this is all proprietary, so just pretend you didn't see any of it. Also, don't touch anything. Okay, doesn't look like there's any cameras. Alright, now that we have some privacy, playtester, you need to tell me what the hell is going on here. We were just in level 3. A hundred percent, that is what happened. And then, puff, we were back in level 1. Like it didn't even happen. The weirdest thing, I remember you using the debug room to get to level 3, but I also remember you playing through level 2. And what's up with all these cameras everywhere? I didn't set those up, and I doubt any of the other devs did either. Someone or something is watching us, and I have no idea what it could be. Whatever it is, I didn't think that they'd buy that excuse with the frame rate thing, but I think I bought some time. I'm going to try and find some info in the game engine. Hopefully they don't catch on before we can find something. Let's see here. Ah, some level generation thing. Uh, recordings, that looks normal. Uh, ah. Temporal beta processing device. That doesn't sound familiar. Let me see what it is. I don't have access, apparently. That's weird. I own the company. I should have. Oh my god! Why did you just do that? I told you not to touch anything! Where is your- Where did you get a hammer from? <sighs> Alright. Calm down, Matthew. This should be an easy fix. It's it's just a, a, a button, right? Oh my god! I thought you really broke something bad there. Speaking of Congratulations, JMC employee Matthew Stanton. You have acquired one JMC employee credit for fixing an outstanding issue or bug. Good job! Okay, sorry. Um, I forgot I added that. Anyway, I... Wait. Wait! Playtester! I just got an idea. We're gonna have to go back to level one. Just act natural. Oh, it sure is great that we fixed that thing with the frame rate thing. Now we can get back to playing the game completely normally. Hey, it sure would be bad if you went into the staircase in the corner of the lobby. Oh no, 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 whatever you do, don't, don't, don't go in there, don't go in there. Just playing along.
Good. All right. Here's the plan. So remember that message that came over the intercom earlier? The congratulations, JMC employee, blah, blah, blah? That's from a system I made way back, and apparently I forgot to remove it. Back during development, we had a lot of bugs and stuff that had to be fixed, but nobody was actually fixing them. So I made a system where if you fixed a bug, you'd get a credit. And if you got enough, you'd be able to increase your access permissions until you get, well, admin. Okay, look, I know this is not secure at all, but come on, we're an indie team. What's the worst anyone could do? Anyway, when you smashed that panel back there and I fixed it, I still got the credit even though it's an issue we created. So if we just go around breaking stuff and then immediately fix it, we should be able to get enough credits to get my admin access back. And then we can figure out what the temporal beta processing device thing is. Okay, that's not good. Playtester, just don't move. I've got the layout for this area pulled up. Uh, I'll try my best to guide you, but you need to do exactly as I say. Got it? By the way, this room may have explosives in it, so just be careful. All right, take six steps forward. So far, so good. Turn le right, right, turn right, and take, let's say, eight steps. Turn left, take five steps. Take two more, actually. So, seven steps total there, not adding on to the seven you already took, but just seven. Wait, hold on, that's actually, actually that's too far. Take three steps backward and turn right. So that's four steps from where you were at. Then take a right, unless you already took those steps, which I don't know if you did because it's dark, in which case go backward seven steps, and then take four and go right. Take four steps forward. Oh, playtester, are you good? Okay, I'm lost. Right, you took... Wait, I can just rebuild the lighting. What am I doing? Oh, uh, I guess I have the wrong layout. Right, let's find something else to break. Congratulations, esteemed JMC employee. Matthew Stanton. You now have two JMC employee credits for your incredible bug fixing achievements. Keep it up. Well, I guess rebuilding lighting would count as a fix. This plan might actually work. Follow my lead, playtester. Let's keep going. Ooh, I am sure I'm glad you uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Uh, just don't do it again, all right? You know what, playtester? This level is starting to bore me. Let's skip to level two through that secret pathway that I definitely added intentionally. Hey, uh, fun fact, did you know that we added a secret area to the warehouse? Yeah, it's right behind that door with the boards on it in the corner. You should go check it out. I'm glad these elevators still work. We haven't used them in ages. I think I only need two more credits to get admins. Let's be quick about this. And here she is, the beating heart of... Attention. Possible data leak in level design wing. Shutting down all level design processes. Ha! Take that, Nick! 
Your generation code sucks! That elite must be destroyed. Dispatching take down bots. That's not good. Damn it! Um, I'll delete them from the hard drive. Try send effect detected. Ignoring that elite. Oh! Huh, well that worked out. Right, uh, let me uh, start this back up again. Congratulations, Stanton Matthew, for your hard work of patching glitches and bugs. You now have three JMC employee credits. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. Right, playtester, one more to go. Don't screw up now. So, playtester, what did you think of that secret ending in there? Pretty cool, right? My favorite part was when you the, uh, you know, that thing. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game. Tell you what, there was only a few rooms left after the warehouse in level two, and I don't want to waste your time, so let's just skip to level three. Head into the debug room. It should lead right there. Eh, uh, you know what? The sewer section is boring anyway. Let's skip to the house. Ooh, better yet. Go check out that shack in the backyard. I hid a little Easter egg in there. Good. Thought that might have been a bit too subtle. Tester, our last stop. Ignore the signs, I know what I'm doing. And I'm in. Right. Let's see if I can break some references or something in here. Shouldn't be too. Tessa, what the hell happened? Was that like actual memories? I wait. S something like this. It happened before. You went to this weird area and then. No, 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 no. Don't let it happen again. Play Tessa. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on. Attention all! Please give a big round of applause to the incredible employee, Matthew Stanton, for his equally incredible work in fixing outstanding issues or bugs. To show our gratitude, admin access level 3 has been granted to Matthew Stanton. Keep up the good work! Uh, hmm, well that's odd. I don't remember fixing anything, at least that recently. That's why I thought I already had admin. Huh, <laughs> retcon being a flawless engine as always. Anyway, where was I? Oh right, today you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, 
I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. the end of the first level all right just give me a second i'll close the game for you uh that's weird not sure why the game isn't closing but i guess you can okay you can start playing now Wow, that was quick. Is that normally how you play games, or are you just extremely eager to get this one over with? Anyway, you made it to the end of the first level. Alright, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Uh, that's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can... Hi, my name is Hi, and I'm Hi, and Hi, wait, um, wait, am I Hi? Wow, that was quick. Is that normally how you play games, or are you just extremely eager to get this one over with? Anyway, you made it to the end of the first level. Alright, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Uh, that's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can... Hi, my name is Hi, and I'm Hi, and Hi, wait, um, wait, am I Hi? I don't think you're supposed to be. Oh, whatever, I don't care. Actually, now you've piqued my interest. This is Is it supposed to do that? Why do I keep asking you questions? You've been here for like 10 minutes. Okay, whatever, whatever. I didn't add this, and I'm starting to get concerned that it's gonna break something. So give me a sec, I'll check in there.
Whoa, uh, player? Play uh, are you there? I don't know what happened. I just, did I pass out or something? Where are we? Uh, whatever this room is, it's giving me the creeps. We need to get out of here pronto. Just, uh, let me, uh, look for something. Wait, I remember now. We were on the roof, and you activated that one thing, and then I, uh... Look, the details are still coming back. Just give me a sec. I'm trying to figure out where the door to this room is. Hold on, I'm remembering more now. Th there was a room. It had a bunch of writing on the wall. Then... I don't know, that part is all staticky. There was a hallway, you took an elevator to it, and then it was level three, and then I got deleted. I don't know what's happening. I'm not insane, am I? This, this did happen, right, Playtester? Playtester? Is this even my desk? Where am I? This isn't, this isn't the offices, this is something else. It, it looks so weird. Right, yeah, the door, the door. I'm still looking. Hold on, I think I found it. Yes, I got it. It's outside the map for some reason. Moving it back now. Wait. We're back in level one? Did... Did that... Is it back to normal? I am so confused right now. Attention all GMC employees! A fatal exception error has occurred at everywhere. The current application will be terminated in T minus 60 seconds! Time to panic! No! The game is falling apart! Playtester! If you even are one, you need to get back to that thing on the roof! I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it stopped halfway through. If you can restart it, it might fix all this. At least I hope it does, because I have literally no other ideas and I am terrified! What are you waiting for? Go! Honest, I wasn't expecting that to work.
Hey. Yeah, uh, it's Matthew. From James, whatever, you remember. I just wanted to call and uh, see how you're doing. Everyone else on the dev team has been a bit out of it ever since we escaped. Guess all that looping will do that to you. Still, we're glad to be out, even if things have been better. Good news is someone remembered to take care of my cat. That's sort of everything on the list of positives, really. JMC just lost most of its staff, and considering the amount of OSHA violations this whole thing probably caused... I don't think the company's going to be around much longer, but... Look, that's not the reason I'm calling you. Playtester, I have to ask. And don't tell anyone that I told you this, especially Charlie, but... Wasn't it kind of fun? Sneaking around the game, trying not to get caught, figuring out what's going on... Honestly, it was probably more fun than anything I could have ever created intentionally. So, even though you kind of destroyed everything with that merger thing on the roof, it's... probably for the best. Maybe I can make a game like it... someday. Well, anyway, with the company in the state it's in, I doubt it'll happen, but if the opportunity does ever come up for more playtesting, Pinky promise on no time loops this time, I'll let you know. But until then, this has been Matthew Stanton from the now defunct JNC Gaming Enterprises. Thank you for playing.
Hi, my name is Hi, and I'm Hi, and Hi. Wait, I'm going to Hi. I unlocked the door, by the way. I'm not sure if you noticed or not. Uh, are you actually going to finish the level or not? I mean, not to be rude or anything, but I don't really have all the time in the world here. Maybe you'd like to take it slow, I don't know, not one to judge, but please pick up the pace a little. Do you know how? Welcome to the tutorial. If you can't figure out how to play the game in this environment, then you're probably just stupid. I'll give you a hint. You see that door over there? You realise that you're getting paid for this right. Literally just walk through the door, play the game, and you get a cheque. It's that simple. Literally free money. Have you even put a modicum of effort into actually trying to play this? Because right now, you're just sitting there like an indignant toddler. You chose not to play the game. This is what happens. Finish the tutorial. Please. This is literally your only purpose being here! Walk through the door! I am going to go bankrupt! Hi, my name is Hi, and I'm Hi, and Hi, wait, I'm... Um, wait, am I Hi? Congratulations, you covered yourself in paint! Um, not really sure what you expected would happen. Did you think there'd be an easter egg or something?
You found a glitch. Good job. Okay, you can start playing now. Oh, fun fact. Did you know I'm right-handed? Most people who tell you their handedness are lefties, so I thought I'd tell you I'm right-handed to balance things out a bit. Did you pick that up because you'll think you'll need it, or did you do it because it was shiny? Asking for uh, playtesting purposes, of course. Looks like a part of something bigger. Actually, I have no idea what it is, but you could have it, I guess. That looks like it might be important. Not that I would know or anything. I actually wouldn't. Alright, cool. You're done for whatever that was. Way, but you look really stupid right now. Anyway, let's get back to testing. Hey, playtester! There you are! I've been looking all over for you. How did you get here? This isn't even a part of the game, it's just the dump. Oh, this. Uh, it's one of our little experiments we made a while back. We were toying with the idea of having a couple alternate endings, so we had an algorithm that would take all the things that you've done throughout the game and spit out an ending based on that. Didn't really turn up too well though, considering, you know, journey, not the destination. Right? Ah, here comes yours now. I guess you called for a lot of vents in between that creepy area and here. Well, I hope you're fulfilled by that. Congratulations on kind of winning? Then again, this is cut content, so it's not like you've really finished the game or anything. And I also don't think we put any way of getting back into the game from here, so that's not good. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton and... Oh, I already told you this, my bad.
This lobby area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead develop- Wait, why are we back at the start? Did you do that? Whatever, I guess, uh, just play again. We need all the feedback we can get. Wait, what? It restarted us again. Right, be straight with me. Are you doing this? If it's a glitch, how did you do it? That Hold on, let's try again. It's still doing it, and it keeps happening sooner. Oh, this is bad. Whatever you activated that caused this, you need to get back to it ASAP. We're talking memory leak levels of bad if we don't get this sorted out. Oh, we can't even get out of the hallway before it happens now. And it's still getting faster. This is really, really bad. Hello, I'm Matthew Stanton, one of the lead developers of the game you're currently playtesting. Okay, you can start playing now. Is that a chair? WATCH OUT FOR THAT CHAIR!
Congratulations! You have fallen to your death. That's unfortunate. Okay, you can start playing now. the end of the first level all right just give me a second i'll close the game for you uh that's <laughs> oh, sorry three two one This lobby area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. Okay, you can start playing now. 